Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Light the Wick. I'm your host, Sydney Sims. We have a lot for us to cover today on today's episode, so let's get started. This week, YSU Art students got a chance to take in a workshop with media artist Jacob Marisco. Students were learning how to create a digital camera that was cost efficient and made from some items that many people have laying around at home. We were able to catch up with Marisco to find out more. Um, the project, the workshop is uh, a DIY digital camera and um, it's based on something called a Raspberry Pi which is a small inexpensive computer and we're using a hacked webcam connected to a Raspberry Pi and the it, with like a battery attached so it's all portable that's it's made out of a Raspberry Pi uh, computer which is a small $35 computer uh, a hacked PS3i webcam um, a small battery uh, phone charger battery you know like those little extra batteries that you can carry around uh, and acrylic, so plexiglass. For more information, contact YSU Art Professor Dana Sperry at the email listed below. Penguin Production is an organization designed to create, promote, organize, and produce YSU student and community-oriented events and activities. Now we have a behind-the-scenes look at what they are organizing and planning for this event. Last week, we talked to one of their interns, Caroline Jesko, about their upcoming event, Federal Frenzy. We started planning because we wanted to partner with the Ritz Center for Autism who ran a festival on Phelps and then Penguin Productions had done Live on Lincoln previously so Live on Lincoln was a smaller scale event where we had a street festival concert just at night and then Festival on Phelps was vendors and art um, during the day downtown so we partnered with both to kind of combine um, the events and a, just a bigger scale event. So we'll have vendors, live entertainment, art all throughout the day and into the night downtown Youngstown. To be a volunteer or if you're interested in Penguin Productions, check out the website listed on your screen below. Last week, you guys got a chance to see downtown Youngstown during St. Patrick's Day. With many television shows ending for the season, I decided to find out what everyone's favorite TV show was. This is what they had to say. Right now, what is your favorite television show on TV right now? Chicago PD. I pretty much like to watch 21 Action News. Okay. They do a lot for the Valley. and. Uh, I believe a, a lot of what goes on downtown all starts with, uh, you know, 21 Action News and everything from there. All right. It is Empire, Cookie and Lucius. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit why Empire is your favorite and why you, do you think it's such a big phenomenon right now in this country? Well, they keep it real on the show. They have different certain things that's going on in different families they're showing on there. Um, Taraji is one of my favorite actresses, so that's one of the reasons. And anytime her and um, Terrence Howard get together and make a movie, they always come out pretty good to me. All right, so tell me right now, what is your favorite television show on TV? Oh, Modern Family, 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. Mine, uh, it could be Modern Family, but she doesn't watch TV that it. much, I don't think. Yeah. Hmm. I like shows that aren't on TV, but, oh wait, no, I like You're the Worst on FX. How I Met Your she Mother, I think, is probably mine. How, you met, okay. How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Okay, tell me who your fa favorite character is. Mac. Why do you find it so funny? It's, it's just silly. They do everything, like, right off. You mean they make up everything? Pretty much half the stuff they do is made up right on the spot. It's hilarious. I've heard of Sean TV. Yes. Vikings. Vikings. Okay, never heard of it. I really enjoyed finding out what everyone's favorite show was downtown. Personally, I'm old school, so Monk and Golden Girls are my personal fave. That's all we have for today's episode. If you have any interesting stories that you think we should cover, follow us on Twitter, like our page on Facebook, or send us an email to the address listed below. We will see you next week.